So, what is meditation? There are many ways to describe it. But the most essential thing is really, is meditation actually is a process of coming to know one's mind. You understand? That's the definition. Meditation is a process of coming to know mind. And the meditation itself, what is the essence of meditation? Like particularly in the Buddhism, the first meditation called shamatha or shine. Meditation, calm abiding or tranquility is what is the essence of the foundation of that meditation is the state of non-distraction. Non-distraction. Because the distraction is the cause of all our sufferings. So through mindful awareness and through calm abiding, we slowly arrive at the state of mind where, you know, we are no longer distracted. So, you understand? So at the beginning, the meditation is about stabilizing the mind through the practice of what is called calm abiding. Where we allow the mind to settle in the state of peace and tranquility. That's called shamatha, if you want to give a name. Then out of the state of calm abiding, a clear insight of wisdom that begins to dawn. Sometimes that type of meditation is called vipassana. But to put it more simply, meditation purifies the mind of its projection and allowing us to see things more clearly, gain deeper insight into the nature of reality and nature of mind. And as you begin to see more clearly, you gain more control over your mind. Emotions are less disturbing, and you can understand them with more compassion, with more humor. At the highest level, meditation reveals the ground of our true being, the skylark nature of your mind. A simple meditation instruction is like this in essential ways like this. Meditation can be presented as a vast topic, one, of, one that is both very rich and detailed and extremely profound, but there's no need for you to be intimidated because the basics of meditation is actually very simple, which is everyone can meditate. You can do it almost anywhere and any time. By the way, most important meditation is not just sitting on the cushion. That's just the beginning, the preliminary. The real thing is the most important is how you abide by that in all that you do. While walking, while sleeping, you know. Meditation itself is just a practice. But the really integration is the key thing. For example, cooking itself will not fill you. You've got to eat it. So, sit upright, please, in a comfortable and relaxed position. Leave your eyes open. Yeah, please don't close your eyes. Open means not to close your eyes. You know what I mean? Okay, open your eyes and look at me. Because eyes are the door of wisdom, by the way. When you close your eyes, at the beginning meditation, when you close your eyes to be more calm, that's okay. But more you close your eyes, you just shut down. It's like then you can really, then meditation. You, there's no saying that you should run away. It's not escape. You have to be at peace with everything. Keep your eyes open. And allow your gaze to be relaxed and natural. You don't have to focus on too much. Don't focus on like, ooh, nice plover she's wearing. Ooh, I like the color. Don't go into commentary. Just leave your gaze not focusing anything particularly. 
It's called referencelessness. Then simply relax your mind. Which means allow your mind to be as it is. Open, spacious, calm, yet completely aware. And also sometimes keep your mouth slightly open as if you're about to say ah. You don't have to say ah. Because when you keep like it, it serves as a good ventilation. Also keeping the mouth on a more higher yoga in the more Tibetan Buddhist teachings is that breathing through the mouth is more recommended because normally when you breathe through the nose, it can create said to be discursive thoughts. Karmic would give rise to karmic wind which create discursive thoughts. When we do breathe through the mouth in a relaxed way, that the discursive thought dissolve into the central channel, giving rise to the wisdom winds. The experience of nature mind can rise, no? The meditation can rise. Facilitating that. Quietly sitting, body still. Speech silent. Mind at ease or at peace. You simply let whatever thoughts, emotions, whatever rises, just come and go without clinging to them. You just let go and relax. Just rest open in the present moment. Simply allowing whatever rises to rise, whatever thoughts, emotions, and sensations come up, you do not have to block them, but neither do you have to follow them. Simply allow yourself to be, just simply allow yourself, just simply be aware of them. Slightly. Even though you're not particularly focusing on anything, there's a still some presence of mind that may be loosely described as a center of awareness. When you remain in this awareness, then you realize that you're much bigger than your thoughts, emotions, and perceptions. You see, when you realize, you really realize that you do. You're bigger than your thoughts, emotions. And you're no longer, therefore, you see, you're no longer afraid of your thoughts, emotions. You, know? you realize something greater, something vaster. You realize the thoughts, emotions are not really you. Like the Cloud is not the sky. Thought and emotion is not really you. You become free of them. And that you discover the confidence, our confidence of your true nature. So do not follow after thoughts and emotions, but merely be aware of everything that passes through it, your awareness as it is. My master, the Junmach, used to say, he used to say, leave the seeing in the seeing. Leave the hearing in the hearing. 
Leave the thinking in the thinking. Don't let grasping enter into the perception. Just as space, what we are doing here is that we are resting our mind in the natural clarity or natural awareness, completely unaffected by whatever arises. Just as space is not defined by the object that moves through it, awareness is not defined or limited by thoughts, emotions that we perceive. Awareness simply is. There's a great poem by my master, Yoshin Kempo. He says, rest in natural great peace. This exhausted mind beaten helplessly by karma and neurotic thoughts like the relentless fury of the pounding waves in the infinite ocean of samsara. Rest in natural great peace. 